see what I'm trying to do there. Um, of course, I miss, but um, I will get that sooner or later. Uh, go to the tree. Yeah. And what makes me think that, um, well, I know that God's in this. Now, some of you think that I'm just obsessed with uh, knife throwing you lately. Uh, I want to assure you that's not the whole thing, whole story. Um, I turned 76 on June the 13th. Um, first of all, you know, you learn something new, keeps your mind sharp, keeps your uh, body sharp to some extent. Uh, and so, you know, I tried to do things like that. But uh, if you've been following, I don't see how anybody can deny that God is in this. Um, that I've been able to accomplish what I've accomplished so far. And if I, I'll probably forget sometimes. I can't uh, get all of them. But I started uh, sometime the first of the year. Uh, so, you know, I've been doing it about six months now. Uh, I have... Uh, begin to get fairly proficient at it. I'm no expert. I'm still what I call a beginner. Uh, but um, I, um, what I'm throwing is not throwing knives. Those are, uh, I've tried throwing knives and so far they haven't worked that well for me. I bought these out at the Tractor Supply. They're straight mini machetes and I've converted them, done a little change to them and uh, well, I can get better with those reason I can anything. Uh, but um, I began to uh, you know, make some kind of challenge. I'm trying to keep it interesting. Uh, if I'm going to use it for the Lord's work, then that's my goal. Um, I'll just tell you, uh, I've never done the ordinary that much. Uh, I've uh, faced more resistance in my ministry than most of you could ever imagine. Uh, but, uh, you know, I've gone on. Yeah, I did try to give up a time or two, but God wouldn't let me. Uh, and so uh, we continued. Uh, when I was with Prison Fellowship Ministries, so I worked for them for five and a half years as area director of the western part of North Carolina. Uh, loved that job, but it was a uh, uh, long hours, a lot of travel, and um, <clears throat> it was more administrative than it was for my line. What I enjoy doing really is evangelism uh, and that type of work. So uh, uh, the opportunity came and it, it felt like uh, my time was done with them in 1998. I'd already started taking some horses. Yeah, horses into prison, North Carolina prisons. And as far as I know, I'm still the only one that takes, has ever taken horses into North Carolina prisons to do a horse exhibition. To get the people out there, uh, we could get the whole prison out there. And once we did, we shared the gospel with them. And I'm going to tell you, we've reached hundreds, if not thousands, in the few years that I did that, when God was really uh, helping us until the economy got so bad and I had to go you know, uh, do find other work to support my family. And uh, so uh, it kind of, you know, it didn't end. Uh, I did a lot of, uh, you know, the prison ministry did because I actually ended up going to work for the prison system uh, later on. Uh, but I continued doing nursing home ministry and any other thing I could do uh, during those years. Now, I'll be honest with you, at the age of, um, uh, 66 I retired and I was beginning to ask the Lord you know I was really looking ahead I said Lord you know are you going to have anything left for me of any real significance uh, when I retire well little did I know because at the age of 70 uh, my wife and I felt led to sell everything we had and uh, moved to Romania. We were there for three and a half years until we both, of course we had health problems when we went, but uh, 
again have a you know a few more issues and then when uh, Mr. Putin began his mess over there and by the way uh, Russia lays claim to part of Romania also and so we felt like it was time to come home and um, so after three and a half years now we came home about midway through and this is, uh, I want to tell you God's been in the work that I've done um, I'm not reached uh, maybe the masses that many have uh, but uh, we've reached many many that would never you'd never see come in the doors of a church or would attend a bible study in prison we've won many of those to christ they've come and so uh, of course god does all the work and it's all him uh, but we got to romania we came home about halfway through, so about three and a half years, and uh, we had a Romanian pastor working with us. We uh, got back and we showed up at the church, and the doors were closed, no one there. The church had been abandoned, and uh, so we basically had to start over. Um, the next Sunday, we had three children showed up. But we doubled in one week because next Sunday we had six children show up. And uh, I had been told uh, that they had been only three professors of faith that this pastor had you know, seen in 12 years, is what I understood. Um, now, um, I thought that strange, but I said maybe they're that hard to reach. I didn't know. But uh, anyway, it wasn't long until we began seeing people getting saved every week. And eight months later, we left from that time. And there were 60-some people in that church. It was a little church in a little village way out in nowhere. Uh, so God performed a miracle there. So God has honored our, uh, our work. And not that he's honored our work. I've just, because I've followed him. That's the way it's been. It's not that I've set out to do things and ask him to, to you know, bless it. You know, I've, I've sought his will. And so we got to start doing this, and he began to help me with it. And this is where I've gone with this. Um, and the reason I know he's with me in it. And, uh, but boy, you know, so how am I going to use his glory? I'm going to use it. Um, now, I started out, I... I uh, Struggled a little bit, of course, but it wasn't long until I was uh, getting a little bored with swinging bottles of water across my target there, and uh, so uh, I uh, began to hit those fairly easy and quickly. Sometimes, you know, the first couple of miles hit it. Um, so then one day I had a avocado seed, and so I strung it up on a string and swung it. And, it wasn't long before I split it. I mean, it's, well, I've gone down and I've just kept challenging myself since then. And God's still begun, still been helping me. Um, as I've, I've taken those challenges. I um, even decided I went down to a, a grape, uh, split the grape into a couple of them. Um, lately, I've been using golf balls. Of course, they're a little larger than the grape. They're about the size of the avocado seeds. But, been swinging golf balls and they last. I, I, I hit them more than one time and so I continue to use them. Uh, uh, but uh, I've got fairly proficient with that. Uh, so I've hit challenge myself. Someone asked me a while back uh, and they said it jokingly, uh, well, you, you know, can you hit a fly? And uh, so I've uh, recently, no, I haven't hit a fly, fly yet. I did run me off a copy on a piece of paper, uh, uh, an extra large fly, uh, just, just as a joke. But, um, well, I had some kind of a big inch-long insect on my neck the other, while I was out here the other day, and so I put it up there, and uh, sure enough, it wasn't too long ago I did it. I found an ear the earwigs like the holes in this uh, target, this uh, wooden target. Um, and so I... Uh, I hit an earwig. So I said, what's next? You know, a gnat? I don't know. <laughs> you know, where do I go from here? Just keep challenging, trying to keep it interesting. And, you know, if you're going to draw people to this 
And then that is the intent to draw people to this, the knife throwing, and then share the gospel at the same time. And I've shared some of this before, but those of you who haven't heard it, um, there's two things that I can do. One is if I'm having a bad day, and I've had them once in a while. I don't have them as much as I used to, but uh, that was when I was first learning. I, I'd have a day, I'd go out and about everything bounce off the target. I couldn't get anything to stick in. I even put it up on YouTube. Um, I said, uh, well, you know, this is life. This is just like life. There's days like this that you can't give up, especially if you're a servant of God. You can't give up because you have a day that goes bad or doesn't go the way you want it to. Uh, and they're going to come. Uh, they will come. You can't give up. Keep going. Now, the other thing is, when I'm having a good day, maybe, I relate how this target. Uh, you know, the Bible says that uh, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That is a term used like shooting at an archery target. Uh, it also applies to any kind of target. And it means we come up short. You throw your, you shoot your arrow, you missed your target, you missed the bullseye. Right there in the middle, I did have plenty of red, and I was trying to back in there, and I thought I was trying to it off. Uh, I did have plenty of red, and I was black. Uh, I think I've got stuff in there. Thank you. Um, but, we've all come short of the glory of God. It's a, it's a term like, well, yeah, God's glory, God's uh, holiness. Uh, you know, all there is about God, we come up short. We cannot attain, uh, you know, what we need to attain to enter into his kingdom and into his heaven. Because heaven is a perfect place, and it will remain a perfect place. Thank God it's not up to me to have to do all that. Yeah, I had to make a decision. Now, some people argue about that. Argue all you want to. I had to make a decision. God offered me a choice. And so we make that choice. Uh, but once we do, uh, God starts to work in us. And over Philippians 1 verse 6, it says, He that began a good work in you will complete it in that day. So that work will be completed. Uh, and I don't have to do it. I do my best. Uh, I'd be submissive. The Bible says that we're to be transformed into His likeness. Well, I can't do that, but I can submit myself to His molding. Much like the potter that uh, Jeremiah went to visit, and God showed him that the, the potter, you know, molded the clay, and so I make myself available to do that, and that's what we have to do, Christians. But uh, back to the target, yeah, we come short of God's glory. We can't do it on our own. That's why Jesus Christ came. That's why He paid the price because He met God's glory because He was. And is it's God in the flesh. God came down in the flesh as the Son of God, the Son of the Father. And so uh, He's the one who created everything to start with. Anyway, someone said uh, that term, in that, in that biblical term that we come up short, it's not like, well, let's take a third look. There's a little dot right there in the center. Well, I missed it terribly, but we come up worse than that. Someone said it's like if your target was the moon and you shoot at the moon with an arrow. That's how short we come from God's school. So uh, that's a, you know, another thing I use as I'm demonstrating the knife throwing. So uh, if you think it's just a... Uh, Obsession with me. Well, it is in a way. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with following God. I'm obsessed with uh, sharing His message. And if it's throwing knives, however it is, then so be it. I know I'll not reach the huge crowds. I'm not all about that. Like I say, I'll reach those that uh, others will not reach. Uh, so um, let me encourage you. Uh, some people have had concerns about safety. Well, let me tell you. Um, 
safety rest right here. It's, it's, not, it's not the knives you don't trust, it's that you don't trust me to make everything safe. And I promise you, I will. I'm probably the one that's, if anybody's in any danger, I'm leaving myself in um, vulnerable more as throwing the knives than with anybody else. But I take every precaution. But, uh, you know, there's no injuries. As a matter of fact, I, I just say this. Um, you're much, you or anybody else, uh, probably much more likely to get injured riding a bicycle than uh, attending one of my knife throwing events. Uh, I'll leave it with that. Not, to, you know, anybody has to do it, but like I say, I'm here, I'm available, and, uh, you know, whatever you think, I just want to reassure people that uh, this is not just some wild tangent I'm on. Uh, I wouldn't put this much effort into it if it's just something that I like or I like to do. And I'm not trying to draw attention to myself. But like I say, I'm just trying to keep it interesting. Uh, you know, got to make it interesting to get people to come. And I've, uh, it's like I told, said here a while back, uh, somebody, I said, uh, uh, people talk about, you know, doing different things to get people coming to churches or whatever. Uh, and then what do you do to keep them there? Uh, and uh, I made a statement, and that's the way I feel. Uh, I do almost anything. Ethical, you know, as long as it's not unethical or something. Almost anything to get them there. But now, when it comes to keeping them there, if they get saved, that should do the trick. You, you shouldn't have to keep babying them and, uh, uh, you know, giving them goodies to get them to keep coming. If you continue to do that, then I'm afraid what you'll end up with is, and I, a lot of churches do that, and that's what they've ended up with. They've ended up with a church full of people um, that um, have no real foundation. Um, and so uh, they, they will not, as the Bible says, they will not endure sound doctrine. But that's what's keeping them there. But to get them in the door, yes. I'll do almost anything. And so that's what we're doing. Okay, enough here. Um, just uh, want to reassure everybody. Um, here I am, 76 years old, uh, and accomplished what I have with the knives. Uh, well, I, I mean, I've surprised myself. God has surprised me, I guess I might say, because he's the ones that helped me. Uh, and I've exceeded anything I even remotely thought I would achieve in doing this, and that's the way I know God's in it. I've uh, been walking with him a long time, a long time, and uh, so uh, I recognize his hand, recognize his spirit. They're a little, I've said, let's hear American news. I have an idea to make one more thing, but like I say, sooner or later, it's going to take some practice. That I will achieve. I've seen others do it, so I said, "Yeah, why not give it a try?" Uh, and I've already had it on the knife handle twice, and it spun off. <laughs> so, you know, I'll get there. Uh, but you know, these are just things to keep things interesting. Uh, and uh, maybe I better back up here since you're probably didn't hear what I said. If I get away from the microphone, um, so uh, I said. That, I've had this hat on the knife handle twice, and it spun off. So I'm sure that sooner or later I'm going to get on that handle. Uh, and that's just one of those other things, not to show what I can do, but it's to keep it interesting. Uh, in other words, to draw people, and to draw people to the message of Jesus Christ. Uh, all right. Thank you.